As that temporary help makes its way to the state, health officials in Vermont are saying all they want for Christmas is for unvaccinated people to get protected against COVID-19 and for people who are eligible to get their booster shots. Jack Thurston has the latest. How are you feeling? Definitely seen better days. Jeff Bartley just got a huge lump of coal days before Christmas. News his sniffles, fever, and body aches were from a breakthrough COVID-19 infection. He credits his vaccine booster with helping keep those symptoms manageable. Without it, I might be feeling a lot worse. State leaders are now pleading with Vermonters to do as Jeff did, get boosted, to reduce serious illness, hospitalizations, and deaths, the prime purpose of the shots. So if anyone tells you that the vaccines don't work because people are still getting positive tests and maybe getting breakthrough cases, that's simply not true. And with the CDC saying the Omicron variant passes much more easily from person to person than other forms of the virus, temporary help from FEMA is now in Vermont. 10 additional paramedics are at Southwestern Vermont Medical Center in Bennington and 20 are at the UVM Medical Center in Burlington for at least two weeks, helping stressed hospital staff with assessing, repositioning, or transporting patients. I got a really nice email from a night nurse that worked last night and said, having these extra hands there during the night just made the shift go easier, more smoothly. They were able to do some other things for patients. Six other teams, FEMA and EMS contractors from out of state, will focus on administering monoclonal antibodies. These teams will help with the anticipated spike in cases after the holidays. Aiming to blunt that spike, health officials encourage you to get tested before holiday get-togethers and to visit with fully protected guests. COVID patient Jeff Bartley, who has to put off his Christmas a few weeks, has one main gift on his wish list, that friends and neighbors get their boosters. You're going to save lives and it's you could potentially save your lives. In Montpelier, Jack Thurston, NBC5 News.